Are you waiting for news, a confirmation of season four of the Orville like the rest of us? Well, I haven't been waiting because I've known for a long time what the truth is when it comes to whether or not the Orville will come back for a fourth season. And it seems finally the rest of the entertainment world is starting to catch up. We're going to talk about it right now on Talking the Orville. Hey gang, welcome back to Talking the Orville. Something has happened, okay? We're going to get down to it. We're going to get down to the brass tacks. I am now no longer the only one talking about the confirmation of season four of the Orville. I, of course, learned months ago from the people that matter, the only people that can be trusted in these situations on, on this project. Um, I can't tell you who, who I talked to because I don't want to betray the trust of people who I consider friends. Uh, but I've known for a long time now, as, you, as you've known, for those of you who watch my live shows here on Talking the Orville, that the Orville has been picked up a while ago for a fourth season of the Orville. Uh, we, uh, we, we know that Seth MacFarlane said, hey, there will be more a few months ago uh, on the Mike Henry podcast. We know that also at uh, Star Trek Las Vegas uh, at an event, Scott Grimes, Gordon Malloy, uh, said that they're supposed to start production in January 2025. That's coming up. That's just right around the corner, you guys. Just fire up your quantum engines and just go a, a little bit of ways. You probably don't even need to go full quantum. That's how close uh, uh, the, the new production of season four is from, from kicking off. Now, finally, the internet. Uh, the website, The Cinemaholic, Cinemaholic, thecinemaholic.com, for those who want to check it out yourself, or you can click on the link below in this video, you can read this article for yourself. Um, I'm just happy, uh, it's finally happening what I've known was going to happen. It happens every time I, I bust out, uh, uh, true factual news about the Orville over the years. I always get it really early. I get the information, uh, uh, being a friend of the show, I get the information very early. I tell you guys about it. Some of you know JP's got the info. And, 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 you, and you're all about it, and that's great. Uh, but it always takes a while for the rest of the internet to catch up, to finally feel uh, good enough to start putting out stories. And, and, and that's actually a good thing, because over the years, I've noticed that, you know, at least a few years ago, uh, that you say anything on the internet and everybody picks it up and thinks it's true. Uh, I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> and so it's kind of, I guess, a good thing it's taking so long. I put out information. Uh, uh, you hardcore fans that have been following me for, for a long time say, oh, yeah, that's what it is. And it always turns out to be that way. Uh, but it's good that not everybody believes me because that means you're doing some thinking. Uh, you're not just taking a piece of information and running with it uh, off of the Internet. And that's a good thing to me, uh, whether... <laughs> Whether it's uh, 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 you know true or not, I'm glad you're not just believing everything that you hear. But I got some more things for you to hear about season four of the Orville. This is from the Cinemaholic. Uh, I'm going to read uh, a, a little bit of what they say about the Orville season four. Uh, I'll tell you what I what I know is true. I'll tell you other things that I'm like, oh, I don't know necessarily about that or not. Uh, just so we can clarify this we can check it a little bit uh but the cinemaholic says the orville season four confirmed starts filming in los angeles in january which is just right around the corner like i said the U the uss orville and its crew let me um make my mouse work a little bit uh, the uss orville and its crew will embark on another whimsical adventure soon the Cinemaholic can confirm that Hulu has renewed the science fiction series, The Orville, for its fourth season. Yeah, I know that. I've been saying that for a long time now. <laughs> but I'm glad you're saying it too. Good job, Cinemaholic. The upcoming installment will start filming in Los Angeles, California. That's, I hope that's true. I mean, I assume that's true because 
that's where Seth MacFarlane lives, and he's got a lot of things to do in Los Angeles, California. He doesn't want to go spend a year somewhere else because he's got a lot of other things to do as well. Uh, the upcoming installment will start filming in Los Angeles, California in January 2025. Seth MacFarlane, who created the series, remains the showrunner with John Kassar returning as director. Of course, of course, Seth MacFarlane is, is the showrunner. He will always be the showrunner. Uh, the Orville is his baby. Uh, uh, I, we, we all know that about him. I've been told to my face many times by uh, uh, people that work with him that the Orville is his baby, so I have no problem with that. John Kassar returning as director, duh, we know that. Uh, Seth MacFarlane will also be uh, directing a bunch of episodes. We do not know at this point whether or not it'll be like season three where they only allowed Seth MacFarlane or John Kassar to be the only directors for the season. Previous seasons had a lot of guest directors, Jonathan Frakes, um, oh gosh, just a, a plethora of people, John Favreau, uh, uh, Robert Duncan McNeil, and the list goes on and on. Well, it goes on to how many episodes that they, <laughs> they had in the previous seasons. Uh, the third season finale, okay, now we're just get, uh, talking about uh, uh, the previous season, which they say was actually really dang good. Let me skip past that a little bit because that's going over information we already know about. Uh, it does talk about Scott Grimes unexpectedly, unexpectedly teased the fourth season of The Orville at the 2024 Star Trek Las Vegas convention. Stunning fans. We already know about this. Uh, I believe uh, there is footage on this channel for members only. There's a short of uh, Scott Grimes making that announcement. You can watch that if you're if you're a member of the channel. Um, considering that the series had been on hi hiatus since the release of the third installment's finale in August 2022. Oh, 2022. That was a while ago. Uh, but the hiatus is almost over, you guys. His words also confirmed his return as Gordon Malloy. Duh, we know that. Uh, the other ca main cast members who will likely feature in the fourth season are Seth MacFarlane, Adrian Palicki. Adrian's, I believe Adrian's coming back. Um, I never doubted it for a moment, and it really seems like she is coming back. So if if, if you're afraid of her not coming back, uh, uh, take that fear and, and, and throw it in the corner because you don't need it. It's just holding you down. Penny Johnson, Gerald, um, Jay Lee, Peter Macon, Mark Jackson, and Georgia Wiggum as Lysella. Uh, Georgia Wiggum, of course, was the character that was from the planet Sargus Four, I believe it's called. Don't quote me on it unless I'm right, and then you can go ahead and quote me on it. Uh, she played Lysella. She, she got onto the ship in the finale episode of last season. Um, she's from that, from the, uh, majority rule planet where, you know, they vote on everything on their little social media news feed. Uh, the previous season's show were mainly shot at 20th Century Fox Studios in Century City. Uh, great studio. I've been there. The production of the upcoming installment may use a new filming infrastructure with LED volume walls as many sci-fi shows have begun employing like Disney Plus's The Mandalorian, um, We've talked about this before. If they're talking about the big giant screens that show you effects and stuff like that, um, a lot of the uh, backgrounds on Strange New Worlds is using these LED walls. I'm assuming that's what they are. Uh, the Orville already used that technology in the very first season, and then they cut it out when they uh, when it just wasn't working so great for them. They decided green screens would actually allow them to do more or, or were easier to use or... Um, but maybe they'll be going back to using that technology. It's, it's a great technology, and I'm sure uh, seven years ago, when the Orville first premiered, that the technology has only but improved over the years, so uh, it would make sense that they would go back to using it, because if, if it's become a really great technology, the Orville's all about uh, staying ahead of technology as far as production goes, um, I can totally believe that they'll be using that again. It's, it's, it's become a pretty great technology. So the story also says we will likely see uh, these evolving personal relationships of all the characters uh, that we've come to know and love all these uh, past three seasons uh, play out in the fourth season. 
The upcoming episodes are expected to shed light on Lysella's decision concerning her, fu her future aboard the USS Orville. The fourth installment will possibly address the revelation concerning the identities of Havina's operatives. That's something I'm very interested in, in knowing about on Mockless and the future of diplomatic relations between the Krill and the Mocklins. Of course, we've had many discussions about uh, uh, all these topics, and we will continue to do so. There's more Orville coming. We got a lot more Orville to talk about. Not only what has been, but what is and what will be. And that's all happening right here on Talking the Orville. You guys know that. Um, uh, our live shows have some of the best conversations in sci-fi out there, especially concerning the Orville. So do we know, we do know that there is a missing seat uh, uh, on the bridge as a navigator. Now that we have lost um, uh, Charlie Burke, played by Ann Winters, uh, to her storyline, <laughs> she's gone, uh, unless Priya saves her, at least for one episode. Uh, but who's going to be sitting next to Gordon? Will it be Lysella? There are some indications in this story that suggest, oh, maybe Lysella will, will take that role. It'd be great as far as you know, not having to cast yet another person. You can have someone that we already know and love uh, on the bridge. But by the time we see Lysel again, it would only have be been a couple of years. Uh, I don't know if that's enough time for her to make it, to, to be promoted uh, up and up throughout the ranks to make it as a navigator on the bridge of the USS Orville. Uh, which I believe is probably the flagship of the Union at this point with all the adventures uh, uh, that it's had uh, over the last few years. But maybe there's a, something special about Lysella that allows her to uh, take in a lot of information and, and put it to work, being that she grew up on a planet that gets all their information and all their decisions and everything going on on this gigantic social media feed that's just nonstop information and data uh, scrolling nonstop. And maybe she learned to take in a lot of information at once. Uh, I could see that as a possibility, but working through the ranks to be to, to get onto that bridge, um, we'll have to see how that plays out. That I don't know about. But the Cinemaholic, you guys, is telling us that the Orville has been confirmed by Hollywood, by Hulu. Uh, they seem confident enough to put out an entire story. Now, I don't know anything about the Cinemaholic. I don't know a lot of things about a lot of entertainment websites i get all my information from things that are happening not things where people are just talking about stuff and and theorizing about stuff though this article is not does not seem like a theory it seems like a solid statement the orville has been confirmed uh for a fourth season it has been picked up i've already known this uh i've been telling you about it uh i'm glad that uh I'm not the only one anymore, uh, that there's other people out there. And if you want to check out this story by the Cinemaholic, uh, just click on the link in the description of this video. And I want to thank you so much for supporting Talking the Orville all of these years. Uh, look, uh, some of you might be interested in the new upcoming Egotastic Fun Time on the, on the big channel. Uh, I'll be getting that started soon. But right now, there's some Orville stuff to talk about. Uh, so thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you very soon. And remember, this is very important. We all do better when we all do better. Love you. Bye-bye.